Hello, my name is Bunny, and it's been about six months since my last video. So I think it was sometime either in January or March or whenever it was that my face exploded. Just this side though. No, wait, which side? This side. This side. The right side. Which does so many wrong things. Anyway, what happened was my face got um, swollen because I'm allergic to dairy. Have I always been allergic to dairy? No. I was born drinking milk, eating ice cream, eating macaroni and cheese without a problem, milkshakes whenever I felt like it. But can I do that now? No. I'm just glad that there there's a whole entire earth full of a variety of different foods that I, I can eat. Although losing ice cream was a big loss. Because that was one of my favorites. I took some footage of my face on dairy. So, if you're interested, check it out. If it makes you gag, I'm sorry. I woke up like this. It's gotten worse. So bummed out. In this next segment, I my voice was all raspy and stuff because I had just woken up so even though I sound absolutely miserable which to an extent yes I was I actually wasn't that miserable <laughs> also too I had a really bad sinus infection from heck oh, so bad but anyway roll film it's much much worse today it's starting to spread to my arms and my neck again so it was starting to spread because, um, I think because of all the stress that I was experiencing, it was making my psoriasis flare up again all up here and in here. And it was just, maybe I was as miserable as I sounded. And this is what it has come to. Fake bangs to cover my eye. Cause I gotta go to work today. <sighs> So I went to work with my messed up eye and my fake bangs and worked out pretty well. Nobody nobody could tell that I had a swollen Quasimodo face. So it's morning, which means that it's bedtime. I'm going to go to sleep. Hopefully my face will shrink a little bit and improve. I really hope so because this is a huge bust to my morale. Like, self-esteem was already like this, and with this party going on, it's like gotten smaller. Trying to stay positive, this makes it difficult. Okay, so I just woke up to get ready for work, and my eye looks a little better. It's less puffier than it was this morning, or for the past couple of days. It's, uh... It's actually super dry. I'm afraid to touch it. Like, I'm afraid to put any moisturizer on it because uh, it might start to weep. And it's hard to get it to stop weeping once it starts. But it's looking better. I'm still going to do a hairdo to cover it, though. Hopefully I don't sweat too much. Yesterday, having the bangs was a reminder of why I don't like bangs. They look really cool, but man, they make me sweat so bad. My forehead, all the hair down here was super frizzy because it was super, it was super sweaty. <clears throat> Hopefully tomorrow it will be either completely gone or sort of more gone. Anyway, it seems to just be getting better. So being positive, I'm learning how to be positive. And BAM! This is my new look for today to cover my eye. It's kind of funny, I use my hair as an eye patch because I think an eye patch would bring too much attention. Although my hair's been doing the same thing, I always wear my hair in either a braid or a low bun. So people have been like, whoa, Aideen, your hair looks awesome. Very nice, but my face is jacked up. I have to make do somewhere. Did my hair, watching the land before time. 
And now I'm gonna go make some tea. Cause I still got this congestion in my face. Okay, just kidding, bye. So, I'm at work right now and it's actually looking a little better. It's less swollen and I'm feeling a bit more comfortable not having to hide my eye like I've been doing for the past two days because of being here at work. That's what it looks like. It's actually better than, uh, than it looks. This might sound gross, but I, like, peeled off all the dry dead skin that was building up there and ended up with this. And also might sound weird, but I've been using chapstick to keep it um, from not getting too crazy because it hurts. I will continue this later. Somebody was coming into the room at that time, not into the bathroom, but into the break room and I could hear them and it made me nervous and I'm not too comfortable vlogging in public yet. So I did use chapstick just to keep it moist at that stage. Um, again, not too much moisturizer because my skin would start weeping and it just won't stop. It'll just stay wet forever and ever until several hours later it might stop. But the chapstick was actually a nice alternative and it was a new chapstick by the way. Don't be thinking that I'd be putting it on my lips and then putting it on my face. Gross. On top of that ugliness, I don't need an infection to go onto my face too. Well, I'm not quite sure what caused it that time. Um, it might have possibly been supposedly a, a non-dairy ice cream that I had had. Um, I'm not going to say what brand name because I don't want to be bashing on any companies or nothing. But uh, it was made out of almond milk, which I thought, oh, that's a good one. That looks like it's going to be good. It was so delicious, especially because I hadn't had ice cream in forever and I really like ice cream. It was chocolate fudge something rather. Chocolate brownie whatever. I think it was after that that my face had swollen up. If you have any funky allergies that kind of put a damper on your life, just know that there are people who do understand. Fortunate for me, I don't go into anaphylactic shock to where I can't breathe or my eyeballs start to pop out of my head or anything. I know some people with peanut allergies that could die. Mine won't kill me that I know of so far, and I ain't gonna test it either, but there's still tons and tons of food out there that can be eaten that will not give you an allergic reaction chin up and google it i think that's my attempt at being encouraging i'm just gonna stop right there